Howdy cowdies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Heaps of cool stuff again this week. We've been busy. We worked yesterday. We didn't have the day off. No rest for the wicked. Heaps of cool stuff. Nice gold ring over the back there. The diamond in it. Little gold pendant with the nice amethysts. A little inkwell with a little hand painted sort of Art Nouveau top on it. George Jensen ladle. Nice little gold and pinchback stick pins. A nice little sort of French, sort of Memphis style brooch and earring set there. Lovely tin over the back. It seems to be the first um, lithographed tin made in Melbourne by R. Gazden, I think. They imported a lithography machine. And that was the first tin they made with it. Damn cool thing. Griffiths Brothers tea, little cups of ripper. Little thermometer of the backs advertising Taubman's paints. Little Tiffany money clips and nice badges. Little gold medallion there, fob chain. Some silver and EP and S. Interesting little World War II sort of photographs. Cool little Hong Kong made plastic robot. That's got sort of big boxes of jewellery and silver and stuff. Nice little Vesta striker there. Little Coca Cola bottle opener off the side of an Esky. This little first aid kit with the, all the original tins and bandages and stuff in it. A Victorian chaise is a nice thing, just needs a little bit of work. A little sort of camperwood table. Nice big Victorian cedar chest of drawers. Some lovely apocryphy sort of jars, lolly jars, something like that. Some nice sort of deco light shades with the big lead light one. Nice small little fishing reels, a cracker. Goes with a nice little steel light, baker light sort of segmented tackle box. Nice little harmonicas. A little 78 RPM record cleaner and a little tin of needles. A little Hardy Brothers reel. Nice tobacco tins. Nice little ice shaver. More tobacco tins. Glassware. Costume. Boxes of DVDs and records. CDs. Little bits of furniture. Nice big camper wood chest. A little display cabinet with the shelves. Kind of like this old oak hall cupboard. It's quite nice. A couple more paintings by Russell Nolan Lewis. What else have we got? Domestic potteries, nice little sort of Victorian style phone table or something. Old car hubcaps, it's cool leather jackets. More domestic stuff, tobacco jars, these are all Hoffman ones. There you go. The shrine up the top. Old industrial lights. What else have we got? Big single fin surfboards, pretty cool. Skim boards. Boxes of stuff, some wooden gear, including the big crocodile. Yeah, so we've got groups of China and gear, some records, stack hats, eskies and retro stuff. There you've got a sort of domestic Australian pottery as well, mainly Bendigo stuff I'm thinking. Pascal tins, reference books, retro canisters, big lot of gardening books. Yeah, so we've got some nice glassware and some sort of other tins, china etc. A little china tea set down the bottom. On sort of 1930s and earlier pressed glass. Nice big collection of royalty tins. Enameled glasses. Collection of glassware at the top. Some orifers, home guard and sort of other gear in amongst. Some more tins. Actually, I don't think they've been entered. Shit, I need to put them in the auction. Ammo crate and another tin. CDs. Kids records. Cool old car. Little rear view mirror there and an old cylinder head. Box of fishing tackle and stuff. All sort of blokey gear, costume jewellery. Got some nice paintings as well this week. Julian Smith, not Dr. Julian Smith, the photographer. This is just Julian Smith, the painter. Nice little example. What else have we got? I like this big Music of the Smiths gig poster. The Beehive, Karen Tavern, 398 Spencer Street. Pretty cool thing. Nice little Frank Matsayers oil painting. I reckon if you got it out of that frame, it'd be a different picture. Big Neil Savage. It's the Lesbia Thorpe over the back. Kind of litho. Big Philip Baker. Looks like they're racing at Bow Desert or something. What else have we got? I kind of like this little Ojars Bissignex. A nice little Latvian blue brush artist. Nice little A. Rosebury. A nice little Australian school watercolour. You see paintings by him that are signed William Slack. Alright, so he uses two different names, but no one knows which is his real name, which is kind of cool. Little Japanese wood blocks are nice. I think after here are Shig. These are nice as well. A pair of uh, Australian sort of Brushman of the Bush-like paintings. 
both signed Spencer and dated 67. Kind of cool. Nice little Japanese woodblock print as well of the Geisha Girl. All right, big collection of milk glass, Victorian glasses. Nice little Saunders and Son, what is it, malt extract, Richmond. Some more enameled glasses, big keg, big tin. We've got sort of nautical stuff, kind of like this little sort of fish sort of handbag with the sea urchins in it. Little stools and gear. Nice old outdoor setting, pretty cool little Reliance BMX. This bar is fantastic. Real cool, big retro 19 sort of 60s, 70s bar. It's got the sort of side wings that fold down, all padded and buttoned on the front. Cool big TV as well from the same sort of period. What else have we got? Nice little Victorian sewing table. Some other sort of apothecary type jars. Knife polisher with some polishing stuff to go with it. Cool little sort of retro furniture there. Edwardian gents chair. There's a nice a pair of spy colour lithos from Vanity Fair about 1890-95. Big brass bells a ripper. Some cowhide covered vans. Royalty and other books. Pub and alia, other vans. Bit of tribally sort of stuff. Nice collection of crystal. All the Benson's jars. More crystal and glassware. Some nice bits in amongst here, but some of them are a little bit damaged. Some nice sort of, sort of Victorian coloured glass tea light holders and things. Nice little sort of tin there, which can be used as an ink well, desk stand. A couple more nice jars, some cool retro 70s stuff. Uh, I think it's Kate and Joy Sweatman who've done the enamelled wear over the back. What else have we got? More enamelled glasses, cool little 50s wall plaque, nice little 50s tea caddy, and that thing. <laughs> more enamelled glasses, cowboy boots, tribal. What else have we got? Sort of Chinese cigarette posters down the bottom there. Nice big Spo dinner set. That's also got to be entered as well, I think. So we're going to have a couple of extra lots in the auction this week. Cool fan. I really like the RJ Harms Dalton, Illinois trucker cap. Funny little Tom Blacksell surfboard, little kneeboard type thing or bodyboard. It's got a fin in the back of it. A rat in a jar. Oil lamps. Nice pink sunbeam. Big cutlery set. EP. Gouda. Shell Lamp, McRobinson's Jars, more enamelled, Australian Tins by R. Hughes in Sydney, Victorian Glass is lovely, this little one on the end is really quite, the decoration on that, the etched design is really fine, lovely little thing. Some more Tins, Royalty, the one with the calendar on the front is a bit cool, Glass Dome, little Draftsman set's really nice, little the gear inside, we've put it with little arc um, lever balance scales. Crystal and glassware, teas made, Russian Olympic cups, the Black Panther, Duke of Gloucester tin, Tokyo Olympic glasses, or Victorian glassware, bushels tin, phrenology head, little Japanese tea caddy like tins, more Victorian glass, royalty tins, coffee machine, a lot of pottery. So we've got big charger in the bottom, uranium glass, more uranium glass, big Victorian glass dome. So we've got enamel glasses of all sort of native Australian animals, more uranium glass, 70s glass, nice little pussycat there made in Chile. Big Decimono charger, Huntley and Palmer tins are ripper, it looks like a wooden box. Some nice AP and S. Little, these are lovely as well, these are a set of three. Dakota glass jars or something. A pocket three. We would have had lollies in them or something like that. This is pretty cool. This is a chicken waterer or bird waterer. Lovely old photograph. Beautiful old frame. Lovely clock. This is nice. This the Clark Scintilla knitting for crochet and artwork. 100 gram balls in their original cardboard packaging. Lovely string dispenser and cutter. Great little radio. Gargoyle Mobile Oil C Tins a Ripper. Nice lamp. Straw dispenser. Crown Devon Art Deco Vase. What do we got? Some Penny Lick Victorian ice cream cups or glasses. Viceroy Tea Cup and Saucer. Wedgwood Pitcher over the back. Lovely glass juicer. This blue glass bowl glows under a UV light. Victorian Cordial Glasses. These three little cups here are by Martin Boyd, which is a bit unusual. None of us picked it. Love the Art Deco Beehive String Dispenser. 
Another nice Deco Burley Wear Trio. Uranium Glass Juicer. The big Nelson commemorative sort of bowl or vase on a stand. The stand that it comes on has got a little bit of copper in it um, off the Victory, his flagship. This is a pretty cool uh, Australian 1980s pottery tea set by Jiri Burz or Burrez. Not sure how to pronounce it. This glass juicer glows under a UV light so there's a uranium content. A lovely bit of Costa Boda. Really nice big tin over the back. Another nice Australian made tin. White fry swan. There you go. That's some bloody good stuff again this week guys. I could babble on for some, you know, more time but that'll sort of do. Hopefully we see you on Thursday night. It's going to be another good sale.